they're not talking about it enough for me. They they're not. They're not. They're not. Oh, this is this this is this is why am I I'm not hearing enough about this product. Hey babes, you guys are Bay and I'm back with another video and today we're doing I don't think I've ever done a video like this before. I literally am doing like a brand focused video. So I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Made by Mitchell. I love Made by Mitchell. I love Mitchell in just in general. Um, he's been a uh, MUA that I've been following for years. I absolutely love him. So he came out with um, a new foundation concealer. And instead of me just buying the foundation concealer, I was like, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of stuff from Made by Mitchell because it's been a while since I bought anything from them. And I remember I did do a review on their, I believe their bronzer blushers um back in 2021 i think that's when he first like released the stuff but anyways i got a lot of stuff like a lot of things um as you can see as you can as you can see yeah i got i got a lot of things i i got a lot of things from him so <laughs> um okay i know um so <laughs> So I'm going to use all the makeup here that I bought from him. And yes, I bought all this. I think this came up to like almost $200. But it's worth it. It's worth it. And from what I gather from this like new collection, it's definitely giving like very light, glowy kind of vibe. For the summertime, not to do heavy because I know, uh, it, the, I feel like it's going to be a hot summer. So I don't know if I want that heavy cakiness. Like I do love a good full beat, okay? But I'm stepping in a new era. I'm stepping into a new era. So this this may, may be the new Zay, you know what I'm saying? So, enough chit-chatting. Let's get into this, like, brand focus video. And let me know if I should do more brand focus videos. Because I do have brands where I have, like, everything from them. Or a majority of their stuff. Like, 80% of their stuff. But, before we get into this review, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my social media platforms at It's Zay. But first things first, before we start this makeup, we gotta prime our face. Thank God, Made by Mitchell, they did come up with a primer, and this is called the Pore Paste. And it's for smoothing, blurring, minimizing paste like consistency that allows the skin to look and feel hydrated and flawless. She's thick. She is thick. This primer reminds me a lot of, um, what's that brand called? Smashbox Photo Finish. Like, this is giving me the same texture, the same feel. Like, it's like that silicone-y feel and that, like, I can feel, like, the smoothness. Like, I feel like it's filling in my pores. So, it definitely reminds me of the Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox. But I like it, though. It's really, really nice. I don't know if there's any silicone in it, but it does give the vibe that it could be, um, that could contain silicone, but I'm not mad at it. It took away the sheen for sure. I don't think it looked as shiny as I did before, but I think it's nice. So now we're going to try out the, the foundations. Next is the foundation. I ended up getting two shades because I didn't know which shade it would be, and then I ended up picking like shades that were slightly too dark, too dark for me. So that's a problem on my part. But hey, I'm actually going to use the darker shade around the perimeter and the lighter shade in the middle because that's what we do. We are makeup artists. We make things work. So... This is a packaging for it, by the way. I love the packaging. It's really cute. If you're wondering why I'm picking them out of boxes again, because I did film this video, and then I end up filming it in this really grainy quality. So, yes, I kept the boxes so I can be more authentic when I'm opening it, okay? Don't come for me. So, um, I got shade H16 and H15. I feel like I would have been H14, but it doesn't matter. Um... It is a sheer tint foundation, y'all. It is a tint. It is not a full covered foundation. I feel like Mitchell is definitely waiting until like fall, winter time to give us something full coverage and heavy. So, but like I said, this is going to be great for the summertime. I'm going to show you guys the two shades. H16. And as you can see, it's pretty deep. Like that. So obviously, this is way too dark. So I'm going to go in with H16, H15. And I'm going to focus that around the perimeter of my face, like mostly around the perimeter of my face, because I am um, probably going to use the concealer in the lighter areas. But yeah, it truth, um, the truth tint is supposed to give you confidence to flaunt your own skin, show your imperfections, and your own truth. So it is like a light color foundation. So it's 
have my little scoop out for me. Honestly, I probably will be this shade after a month into summer. I do tan when I'm outside, so this will probably fit me really nicely in about two, three weeks. Especially since Carnival is like next week. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is definitely going to be my shade. This is the foundation on one side, and this is without the foundation. As you can see, it is slightly darker than me, but I, I'm not complaining because um, I'm going to be the shade in like two, three weeks anyways. But can you see the beautiful like glow it has? It has a really nice glow. Like my skin looks so healthy. It looks fresh. It looks plump. It looks like sun kiss i kind of like the fact that it's slightly darker because i feel like i have like a self tan going on i'm kind of here for it i'm kind of here for it but i love it like it's really really pretty and it's like lightweight you can see all you can see everything you can see all my um <laughs> my pimples and whatnot my scarring but i'm not mad at it it's almost like you know like um in korean fashion or not korean fashion like korean skincare they love when your skin looks really jelly and like really really glossy and shiny it kind of gives me that vibe right now so i think it's really beautiful so i'm going to finish off this side of my face with foundation and then we're going to start going in with the concealer so i know i said i was going to go in with concealer but i actually want to go in with his blush bronze this is blend and snatch um like i said i did a review on all four shades back in 2021 i believe but yeah i did get my shade i love this i was so upset when i finished it so i reordered this again and i'm probably gonna order this a lot because honestly it's been like i really do love this shade like this shade is the perfect um, color for me when it comes to like bronzing and contouring so we're going to just contour my face using this and i wanted to contour first before i do um concealer because i know the concealer is a little bit lightweight so and it might be crease look uh it might crease a lot because this point looking at the formula of the concealer so let me do a little one two okay and one thing i love about this formula is how beautifully it just blends in like oh definitely one of my faves like contour bronzer cream formulas on the market because it's just not too drying and it just blends in like any color that I, any foundation that i use with this i feel like it works really really perfectly so i this is this is definitely a must-have for me when it comes to like doing my everyday makeup so i'm so happy that you know <laughs> i ordered it again and that i definitely am going to be continuing ordering it a lot more this is how my face is looking after i did some contouring so mitchell doesn't have any like powder products in this in this uh launch of his i did see him using something special and i'm like mitchell give me the full coverage setting powder and concealer that you have i know i see it but like he says it's september so we gotta wait a couple of months but anyways um he doesn't have any powder products in his brand right now so i'm gonna have to use my own powder products and whatnot I'm definitely looking a lot darker than I normally am so time to go into the concealer and I'm not even checking out BB 14 I'm gonna go in with BB 12 I'm not gonna show you guys both so this is BB let me go here this is BB 12 to BB 14 and I'll swatch it so you guys can see it's a very very like almost oily like texture the only thing I'm not a fan of is the like the matte uh, lids because it's matte and it tracks a lot of like mess like it grabs onto the dirt more so I, I would prefer more maybe of like a glossier top that way it doesn't look so messy because I don't know if you can see that y'all I'm gonna show you like the tops look really messy already I'll show you it's really messy already so but this is the two shades of the concealer I'm definitely gonna go with the light one because I need to brighten up my eyes because right now they look they look kind of, I look kind of crazy right now I, I look kind of off so but that's that's my fault because I didn't get the right shade so yeah so far I the formula is really really nice it blends nicely with the foundation it doesn't have extreme amount of coverage but like I said this is a summer foundation this is a tint or concealer it is not supposed to give you that 
cake beat face that I know we all love but it's actually it's a great like foundation and primer for somebody who's a beginner um someone who's kind of scared of doing the full face I think something like this would be really really great for you to use um or if like this let's say like you are scared of the cakey look or whatnot I think this will be really great especially if you're also dry skin I think you're going to like eat this up because it's just really beautiful and it's super hydrating like I look glossy <laughs> I look like I have like glass skin right now even though I have like texture and like um acne scars and whatnot I look like I have like glass skin like I'm here for it we're gonna put the concealer right here too because um like I said this the foundation is a little dark for me so I'm gonna use a concealer a lot to fix it but this is without the concealer and this is with the concealer so it does a coverage very very light coverage but I think it does what it has to do like even myself looking at this I'm like I'm so used to be cake face so I'm just kind of like breathe say <laughs> breathe I'm so used to being like such a cake face babe and like really get like heavy un um, under eyes and whatnot so but this is how it looks like though I think it's something that I can definitely probably rock with a lot more in the summertime I feel like I'm going to enjoy something like this that way I can give myself like air to breathe and whatnot but I think right now I like the foundation but I think I'm feeling more the concealer right now it's something I can definitely use more on days where I don't want to wear makeup so I'm going to finish off this side uh, with concealer, but just show you guys the difference in how it looks. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I like it. I like it. This is a, and this is coming from a girl that likes full cover stuff, so I'm getting used to this. Like, I'm, this this is hard for me, but we're, I'm getting used to this. This is how my face is looking. I feel like a glazed donut. <laughs> I feel so shiny, so oily, um, but I'm not mad at it. Like my skin just looks really, really healthy. I know once I set it, it's gonna be a lot different. Some people love this kind of vibe. Like if you like a very, very glowy, hydrated vibe, like this is definitely for you, but I have not set it, but you definitely are going to need to set it because if you touch your face, it's, it's transferring. Like it's transferring like crazy. So you, you have to set it. You can't not wear it like this. Um, I know. I wonder if they ever will do something where like it's glowy but it sets but you still have the glow you know so i got two of the blushers liquid blushers i got the shade toasted terracotta and i got cowlick so i'm going to swatch that for you guys so you can see it's pretty much the same formula as the uh broad blusher it gives me that kind of vibe with the way it maybe a little bit more like maybe a bit more glowy actually because it's giving more of a shimmer to be honest, that should be more of like a glow, more like a hydrated glow. Um, so I'm going to use two of those. Oh, damn, that stained like crazy. I wiped it off and it's there still. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that that stained. So I really want to use two of these colors. So I'm going to go in with the cow look first, the pink, and then I'm going to go in with the orange afterwards. Kind of create a cute like sunset moment. One thing I love about all his products are how beautifully they blend into the skin. Like, that's one thing I love about, like, MUA brands, like, brands that are created by makeup artists, because they just understand the skin and how products should be blending into the skin. So, I just, ah, one thing, yeah, he got it. He got it. He know what he's doing. I low-key want a little bit more because I'm a, I'm a blush girly, so I'm going to add a bit more, like, right here on the sides because I love blush, and I'm like, go big or go home. Like, give me that blush. And the pink is so pretty. Like, I don't know, how, I don't know if y'all can see how beautifully it's just blending together. Even from the contour, the foundation, like, everything just blends really beautifully. Now I'm going to go in with the Toastic Terracotta. I'm applying it right in front of Cowlick. Do you see how beautifully that blended in? You have like the pink into the orange. Like, oh, it blended so nicely. This is how the skin is looking. It looks so beautiful, so glowy, so hydrated right now. Like, it's nice, but we have to set it. <laughs> we have to set it. Like, it looks great and everything, but 
there's no way anybody can walk out the house without setting this like as much as i love the glowiness of it all i have to set this so um i do have a powder product from them but this is more like a pressed powder you put on after the setting powder so i definitely want to come back after like i do all my like my own makeup and whatnot um just to kind of like enhance the look the way i would typically wear it so this is what it looks like though I think my skin looks really beautiful. It looks really glowy. It looks really healthy. Um, obviously, I have to set it. But as you can see, like, it's very much my skin. It's not as coverage as, like, as it is. But I feel like it definitely um, gave myself a good shape. Not gave myself a good shape. Even up my skin tone, that's the right word. It definitely evened up my skin tone. And I think it's really nice. Obviously, it's not my shade, but... I think it did work out. It just makes my skin look nice. It looks glowy. It looks natural. It looks like I have nice skin with a little bit of acne marks and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, I am about to finish off my makeup. And then I want to come back and try on the highlighter and the pressed powder. The reason why I didn't, I'm not putting on the highlighter now, even though it's like a liquid, it's very, very sparkly. Very sparkly. And I think it's a lot better if I put it on after I do the rest of my makeup. And then we're going to go in with the other items. So this is my face all set, all set. I did use a little bit of concealer right here because I just, I needed that extra coverage and brightness. That's just me though, it's a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit extra concealer, um, which is my favorite concealer. Which one, is, where is it? The Cover Girl. True Blend, just a little bit in the um, inner corner for brightness because I am filming more videos after this. So I want to make sure, you know, I look the way I feel. But that's the whole point of like, makeup you make everything customizable to suit your needs so that's all i really did and then i went in with my hooded beauty powders i have two shades one for my under eye and one for the rest of my foundation to set it and that's all i did like i didn't do any bronzing contouring blush nothing this is the blush from the actual blush like you kind of notice that the orange kind of disappeared a little bit only because like my concealer kind of covered it a little bit but like i didn't do any contouring nothing like that this is the makeup so next, I want to go in with the eye lights. Is it called eye lights? Eye light, and this is a brightening powder. And I got the shade that's supposed to be for girly my skin tone. This is how it looks like. This is the shades right here. And I'm feeling. I feel like I'm feeling this color. I think this is a little too yellowy, but it's also giving me like blush vibes. So I think I might actually go in and maybe use this as like a blush. Like I think I can. I don't know. Maybe can I? I don't think so actually i think it's nah it's too pale for me to make it a blush maybe we'll, we'll see what i can do with it um but i'm definitely gonna go in with sparks i just feel like that one would suit me a lot better and i'm gonna use a powder puff to do this i actually want a clean powder puff. i got a new one so this has this is pigmented like i don't know if y'all can see the difference this is a pigmented, this is what you call a brightening powder. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is what you call a brightening powder. The hell? The, what? This, this is a brightening powder. This is a brightening powder. The coverage, I need y'all to, I need to zoom in because I think y'all need to see coverage. Like, what? No. No. No, people are not talking about this, this, um, brightening powder. They're not talking about it enough for me. They're, they're not, they're not, they're not. Oh, this is, this, this is, this is, I, I was using the Huda Beauty one and I love the Huda Beauty one, but this one. Do y'all see how smooth my under... Mitchell, you are sickening. Like you, you are you are sickening, sir. You you are because yeah. I'm gonna go in with hot spot. This shade right here. A little bit of that and just kind of like blend it. Ooh, okay. Just kind of soften the edge into my bronzer, so it's not such a harsh edge. Okay, I like it. I like the way like it blends. Like, that's a nice blend. That's a beautiful blend. 
I don't think you guys understand. I don't think I heard enough people talk about this product because why am I I'm not hearing enough about this product? Why? Why? This is this is absolutely stunning. This is this is stunning. Oh my god. And my face looks really good and I didn't even go in with any like powder, bronzer, or anything like that. Like what? Mom, what do you think of my face? Oh wow. Wow. It Yeah. Very nice. It looks well, like it worked well with the setting powders from Huda Beauty. It this 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 is amazing. This is this is a game this is a game changer, like game changer. Um, my blush is still peeking through. I wonder if I can go on top of it with liquid, with the liquid blush. Like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna see what happens. But I feel like my blush kind of disappeared a little bit, and I kind of want it back. It blended so nicely on top of the powder. Like, are you dumb? And it gives a nice glow. Like, I don't think I even have to like go with a highlighter, but I do have the highlighter if you want to test out your highlighter. Okay, so this is the highlighter that I got. Um, it is the liquid blusher in drip drip, and it's like this. She is sparkly. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it. Like, she's sparkly. She's sparkly, like she, like she is sparkly. So I think I'm gonna have to apply this um with my hands. I don't know what the best way to apply it. I feel like I need something like dense. This is blinging. This this is a highlight. What? I don't give a damn. I'm gonna wear highlight like crazy because I can. Be because I can. Okay, so another thing that I actually wanna try with this, I want to see if I can use the uh, bronzer as a lip liner. So let's try that out. And then I wanna mix these two together. These two together, I feel like the pink might be too much. I think the orange will be enough, if that makes sense. And then I want to take the shimmer again. Like my hand looks so crazy. Like it looks wild. And then I'm gonna put a gloss on top of it. This is really nice. What? This lip combo is cute. This the okay. Look how I made. Let me see. I literally mix these two in this, and then I put the shimmer on top of it, and I just put a clear glass. Oh, that's so pretty. Right? Like literally everything that's on it's my face. Like no, it's not like your usual greens that you wear all the time. Cause I mixed up, I mixed these two colors, the pink and the orange. So it doesn't. It looks like a little bit better than the ones you always wear. Yeah, cause I think I think it's orange. Cause I think it's I'm extremely. Why are you talking like that? Because I just feel like <laughs> I need to talk like that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me just um, this is actually this is absolutely stunning. Like I I love my face right now. Okay, let me just um put some mascara on and then they take my hair out or my headband out and I'll come back and then we'll give my final thoughts. So this is my completed look. I took off my little headband and put some earrings on and some lashes. Like, this is how I like to look now. Like, I'm not into, like, false lashes like I used to be, which is so weird. But that's not the point of this video. This is the look. I only use the Huda Beauty setting powder in two shades. And then I also just use a little bit of the CoverGirl concealer. And that's it. That's all I used for the base. Everything else is literally Mitchell. Like, I didn't go in with any powder bronzer. I didn't go in with any um, powder or blush or anything like that. Like, this is it. This is it. This is the face. This is how it looks like. And I like it. I, I like the way I look. Like, it's so crazy how to begin the video, I look super shiny, 
oil slick and now I'm like matte but I'm like a nice matte like it's like a healthy matte it's not like a dry matte really per se um I was gonna do a wear test but the reason why I'm gonna do a wear test because I just know this formula is going to get oily like I'm going to look shiny just because the way this um, skin tint is meant to be glowy and dewy and whatnot but I am filming some other content today so I am gonna pop back in in a couple of hours so I guess it is gonna be a wear test but I'm not gonna dog it too hard because of the finish and anything that's usually sheer or dewy base usually is always gonna look shiny at the end of the day so I am gonna have to do touch ups throughout the day because I don't want to look shiny in my videos but so far hey y'all it is midnight right now um so I just want to show you guys how my face is looking like uh I've been doing a lot of content and whatnot but how my face is looking I would say I finished filming that video around, I want to say like 5.30, 5.30, so this is my face for what, seven hours right now? I did experience a lot of like shininess right here. If you notice anything removed here is because I wore my glasses, and obviously when you wear glasses it kind of removes it because I didn't prep it properly because I knew I was going to take it off, but um, yeah, that's how my face is looking. It like gives a very natural glow. Do I look a little shiny? Yes. But it definitely gives like a natural glow that I'm not mad at, to be honest. Like, I'm not. So, made my Mitchell. Made my Mitchell. You did your thing. You did your thing. Like, not bad. Not bad at all. And I was moving a lot, okay? I was literally filming a whole clothing haul and whatnot. I wasn't just sitting around the house. I was moving a lot. And I'm about to go clean up some more. But I just wanted to show you guys how the face looks like. Because I'm about to take it off and go to sleep. If I have to take away anything from this, like I think it's all it, it's all amazing, um, the products and whatnot. Was I the biggest fan of the concealer and foundation? Not really, because like, like I said, I don't really like um, sheer coverage stuff, but I can like it. I can't get used to it. I'm just used to always looking glammed up like this, but I like the way it looked, um, the glow and after, like I said, the powder, everything like that. I, was, I managed to like, fix it and whatnot so i do like the powder uh the concealer and the uh foundation it is it is nice um but because like i'm gonna get really oily in the summertime i don't know if that's gonna work great with me i think this product surprisingly enough would be more beneficial for me in the winter time when my skin gets really dry um as for like the star of the show i didn't think where is it i didn't think this was my favorite thing out of the entire stuff that i bought like this this was a game changer like people are not talking enough about this like they're they're not talking enough about this product like i don't i see him use it but i don't know maybe i'm just not on makeup tiktok or makeup ig like that anymore but i need more people to hop on this because this is magical this is some magical sh like this is, this is this is everything and if if this pressed powder is like that imagine what his loose what his loose powder is gonna be like when he drops it because i see you mitchell i see you um these are my babies these are my babies like i was like talking to my mom like this is coming with me on vacation trips wherever like this is coming everywhere with me because i'm i'm very obsessed like i mean i already liked the bronze brochure from the last time so i, I already knew i was gonna be obsessed with it and then putting on the lips like it just it just did what it had to do um the primer the primer is cute i mean it, I mean, it did make my skin look really, really like um, glowy and not glowy, like smooth and everything like that. Do I think it's a game changer? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Like, it just, it kind of gives me, I just feel like I have a lot of primers that are similar to this. So I'm just like, meh, whatever. Like, I like it. It's a primer. I'm going to use it up anyway because I bought it. But yeah, that is the end of my review of a brand focus video using Made by Mitchell products. Um, so far, I really do enjoy, um, you know, testing out everything in a brand as much as possible and i absolutely love it but yeah this is the full look everybody okay okay what do y'all think about made by mitchell products like which one do you like out of everything i tried i know this video is so long but you know i i, I had to be in depth and i had to try everything out so anyways base thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on all my social media platforms at it's day and i'll see you guys again in another video Bye.